good morning good afternoon good evening depending on wherever you're watching me from i give you bring you greetings in the name of the lord and may the good lord be exalted in your life and family in jesus name amen i got a video that uh stunned my emotions uh there was this young lady the the first time i saw her on social media though i don't follow uh, the news around this pastor so much but occasionally i ha i do stumble on one or two of it the man Odumeje. there was a time father i cover myself with the blood of jesus i cover myself with the blood of jesus i cover my family with the blood of jesus in jesus mighty name i prayed amen hello my good people god bless you good morning good afternoon good evening depending on where you're watching me from i welcome you once again to the channel today uh there is this video that somebody sent to me and i was stunned to see such a uh, thing um happening the man um in the picture at this time again is the prophet the lion of africa the one that calls himself um so much names he bears liquid metal, the Indaboski, the Lion of Africa. Odumeje, you know, some of you may have seen the videos, his videos with the method of his healing, hitting people, beating people, and um, traumatizing people in the process. And the last one I, I uploaded was where he was hitting a woman with her crutches. And uh, somehow we saw the woman standing and giving testimonies of how that for two years she could not work but eventually for two years she could not work but eventually after the beating and hitting of the prophet she started working and her family members came to testify and uh, we said one or two things based on what we know about the healing method of jesus we only know that healing happens in the name of jesus that is the, the, the instruction that was that is and god has never changed that pattern that it is in the name of the lord that uh these things are obtained now so um there was a time i saw a video of the lady you are, you are about to watch her name her stage name or her facebook name is ada jesus i think she is a comedian and so the first time i saw her that i read few of the things she posted on facebook was when uh zubi if you're a nollywood fan you would know Zubi. Zubi fell out with uh, Prophet Odumeje and because Zubi said he claimed in one of the videos he did in the interview that he was granted that Odumeje was not his prophet but that Odumeje was like a friend, a colleague of his. And so he was, you know, the idea of Odumeje being referred to as his prophet resented him so much that he renounced that even with almost a curse and eventually they fell out and um Ada jesus seems to be one of the members of the uh Odumeje's, uh family i mean the church this time around and so she called out zubi to apologize to Odumeje or else whatever 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 would happen well eventually Odumeje and uh, zubi they reconciled their path but then I didn't know, I never saw this um, other news because I don't build my, my uh, search around them. Okay, so this video depicted something that I never knew. Uh, that the other Jesus fell out with the same Odumeje, Prophet Odumeje. And with another Nollywood actress uh, whom I used to admire so much. Her name is um, Rita Edoshie. If you're also an Hollywood fan, you would know her. She is one of the icons of that industry. And so, um, the, the, the video you're about to watch, you know, shows a lot and it leaves so much to be talked about. Now, the lady uh, did a video in which she accused Odumeje of faking miracles. So, I heard now from this video which you will also watch and then there was also the path that she said 
Rita played in her life and marriage and family. And there was also um, another witch doctor that was involved, which the girl also uh, mentioned. I wouldn't know what she said about that one, but she, she didn't say something good about that one. Now, eventually, Ada Jesus is sick. Now, the point now is that in sickness, it seems that probably they have gone round and they began to think that it may be those things she said against this man. Now, one is man of the devil and one is man of, of God. Okay, one is man of the gods and the other one is man of God. Now, I want to believe you understand what I'm saying. Now, the witch doctor that we all we say, uh, you know, is of the devil, that he is a servant of the devil. Now, and the prophet that is supposed to be the servant of the Most High God. Now, who is a preacher? Now, I think that at this point in time, I will let you view little of the clips. Now, what happened? That this young lady went to the wish doctor. The wish doctor forgave her, gave her 100,000 naira to use on her treatment, to use and treat herself. And then she also went to her former pastor, whom she had defended in time past, but whom she offended by doing those videos on social media. Audio of the videos that Ada uh, um, released about this man, the pastor, and then I'll play you a footage of what Udumije is now saying regarding how you know what um, Ada Jesus did to him and why he will never forgive her. Rita Idoche also spoke and she said she can never forgive her. So, uh, take a look. I will say it and say it properly. I don't care. How you, some people are going to see it by word or anything. Lion Church, Lion Udumeje Church, is not what you people think. Lion Church will a place when you make money, you go for sure. Forget about all these people you are seeing on video, in that world poison, in that world chair, in that world diabetes, in that world this and that, blah, blah, blah. Lion Church, I brought a place uh, when you are when you are sick, you go there and be cured. No, you see all these things you people are seeing on social media. All of them come on flat. I've been there. I've gone there. I've been there. I've been going home. I've been home. I've seen the results. You people should take it from me. Nobody is going to beat me. You people scam my in law. 640,000 naira, their family prayer. You people do not come to that family prayer till now. Aku, Aku is my in law. I contacted Rita Doche, I contacted the Ojuku, I contacted almost all the uh, uh, Lion One family. One. They didn't pay that, mo that money till now. Here they go, Koshirike. Here the money, Koshirike. Forget all these things on our social media. All of them are stage. Forget all these things. Forget all these things you are seeing on social media. You people scam my in law. Six hundred. Little Doshi went and be telling my husband that I'm cheating on him. Little Doshi is an evil woman. She started all this problem. She started all this problem. Little Doshi started all this problem. Apart from guess and one yahoo, apart from that is a one own. Little Doshi started all this problem. She went to go and tell my husband because now, because now me no do me do no work, me no handle no work. I do fake, you fake prophecy. I do fake, you fake you. On the day I on that one I on this and that blah 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 blah. Then what they said to say go, he told them to give me my own percentage. They didn't give it to me. Hey, I'm my own percentage. Okay, because he told them to say the truth. What really happened? It's not going to say the truth what really happened. Little they say just say now I got my husband. Now I'm on our body. Little I deleted the last video. But this one I'm not going to delete this one. And I want you people to help me and share this video. So that you people will learn from this too. Oh do
I don't give Never First, I will want you to watch the uh, the footage of the lady in the uh, the witch doctor's house now and see for yourself what happened. Let me. Jesus. 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 Ojo <laughs> I want to Meanwhile, let's look at this comment that was done by one of the viewers of this post on instagram he said make i tell you something all these spiritual churches most of them derived their powers from the marine world some now cultic men too so before you come online to insult them make yourself ready both physically and spiritually cause them could go any length to do you something and then he said i got the fight for them my papa warned me well well i know they put mouth for all this kind matter be careful he is literally saying he said let me tell you something well, let me tell you guys something all these spiritual churches most of them derive their powers from the marine world some are occultic men too so before you come online to insult them make e make sure that you are ready both physically and spiritually because because they will go at any length to attack you and uh, when that you know happens they will turn around to say god has started fighting for them against you he said his father warned him very very well and so he said he doesn't put his mouth or shook his mouth or poke his mouth into matters as this so he is warning <laughs> all, all you guys to be careful well if that is the case your guess would be better or as good as mine as we proceed to the next video to ask for forgiveness she was not even in the position of speaking she was not talking her family members like the husband, the brother, the father, and all that they gathered in the church to solicit, to beg the man of God. Now remember, man of the gods had forgiven this lady. And the man of the gods, we don't know men of gods, men of the gods, as in which doctors. We don't know them, you know, for their, um, their great knowledge of the doctrine of forgiveness. But we should be able to identify not even pastors, but every Christian by their willingness and their ready heart to forgive. So the wish doctor forgave, gave the lady 100,000 naira. That is a big amount of money for somebody to cough out. That is huge. I tell you, that is huge. For someone who was offended to bring her to her brother money, and she even prayed for her that if he used the, she used the money for medication it would work she he, he told her the things that would have happened to her but because because for the fact that she came to him he forgave her let me explain for you again for those of you that won't understand because the communication was done in my in my my dialect he said to her i forgive you he said to her i didn't do you anything you were the one that went about calling my names for nothing he said to her, for the fact that you came 
I forgive you. If you had not come, there would have been series of deaths in your family. It, will not even, it may not even have started from you. But because you came, I forgive you. I give you this 100,000 Naira. If you use it for medication, it will be effective on you. Go, I forgive you. And then the people around held the man. Now, that hurdle was crossed without so much ado, without so much, so much um, stories told. But then, look at what happened in the church. From here, I will let you watch that that took place on the very altar of the man of God. I will be right back at the end of that clip. And they, everybody are celebrating you. I'm telling you, hey, we are sealed. Now we know the major is fake. Hey, that was Do not fall down of Zimi's video. That is the video. Because I don't even know Facebook. That is the video that will destroy your home. Because this is your daughter. And once you have already, he said that he pity the whole world that coming here. Then I will not in your family. I can never, the day I start to wake up, to think and went to mountain and bring down the citadel, I forgive several times. And I hand my help for her. Still yet, in a few weeks, he do another video. That is why I asked, what did I do? Where did I know this lady? What connection? But one day I have never had any discussion with you. He said, What? Well, the devil is at the wall. The devil is at the wall. It's your sister. The devil is at the wall. Now you know that devil. The same devil, I will make sure that God of heaven that using me to destroy you and start again. Nobody speak against me, Godfrey. I am not a man you can joke with. Nine million people are clapping hands in Facebook, calling me all sorts of names. So, the major deceive is what you are deceiving us. I foresee why movie people are coming here. So, no film on them ever. So, this is film. Yes, because film people can never go where there is no film. Go to Facebook, YouTube. If they go to YouTube, Nine million, more than nine million people are praising her. Thank you for open our eyes. You have never open seen your it. eyes. <laughs> they are they come and we, we are doing business. A from Kaleba, not you. Not Poor and wretched and hungry. Then where do you come? Who is in your family? And he went to the prophet of the whole world, number one. But I said, all the people that are coming here, I pity for them. Later, he called me and said, Daddy, if you don't do anything, uh, we are look at. He said, no. Even if advised advise me, someone have for case, or they confess, and say, I, I can't, because the woman saw her. <laughs> Then you will know how dangerous and bad I am. When the I lion know, himself. I am bad. I am good. I am terrible. What's the lion for? What do you want to say? If I take up now, Ada insulted my family. Big one. Those now also talk. Now all that can know. You're supposed to talk. No, you don't want what I Ada Jesus. Now all that can know. The first person brought. If I've ever for one day asked Ada, would you may just say it? Or if I've ever said, bring somebody for fake miracle. Or would you may just say, bring somebody for fake miracle. Anything I want on earth, may I never ever see it. Are you hearing me? But if I did not, 
Ada will not get up from this sickness. The husband came to me in Imo State where I was filming. He knelt down and was begging. Please forgive Ada. I said I will not. Ada insulted me, insulted my home family. My whole family insulted my great prophet on Apuala. So you're welcome. I know you have watched the video and so I'm not going to speak much. Since you have watched the two clips, I should let you be the judge over what you have seen. Now, between a witch doctor and a pastor, if you ask me, I would have said, and I, I think that these people would have believed that the most difficult person would have been the witch doctor, that the pastor would have would be easier to pacify or to be pacified in order for him to have mercy and forgive. You know, if whatever the young lady is going through came from them, though I'm looking at her, it seems that what she's going through is a kidney issue. All right. Though I wouldn't know if they have gone to hospital because that, that looks to me like somebody who is suffering kidney failure. But because there is a problem now, because there is a situation on the ground. There is also the possibility that someone, one of the persons you offended out of these two, may be responsible. But I'm not looking at it in that form, but let us just say that this could be what happened. Now, if it is truly that it was because of what she said about any of these men that brought her to the condition that she found herself, and the one who who is not talking about heaven, who is not talking about Christ, who is not, I don't think he has ever had a message on forgiveness. Now, could easily forgive. Wouldn't it be a perfect opportunity for the prophet now to prove to the whole world that he indeed was of God? That all the things being said about him, uh, miscalculation or misunderstanding, of the people about his person this is my opinion because a child of god a christian should be eager and ready willing to forgive not just a pastor but here we have a pastor who was reluctant and adamant and hell-bent that that child was not going to get up from that from the sickness now the woman in question who is rita edoshe that i said she was the one when I used to watch Nollywood so much. She was one of the, the people I love seeing, you know, act. I was miffed. I was surprised. I was shocked to hear her even release curse upon herself and upon the girl that was almost, almost dying. Now, where is the fruit of the message that we preach? Where is the truth that these are people of Christ? Where is the proof that, that Christ is present in the hearts of these people? Because Christ is an embodiment of forgiveness. And Christ has told us that without this, you are not going anywhere. If you are a Christian and you nurse bitterness, even the Lord says that your very gift shall not be accepted from your hand. And so he said when you bring your gifts, to the altar and there you remember that somebody out there is having something against you not even you having something against the person but that the person is having something against you he said there on the altar abandon your gift go after this person first and make peace with this person and then come back and give your gift so that is when your gift will be accepted and while he taught us how to pray he taught us and he told us that except we forgive people their offense, their debt, their trespasses, that we shall not be forgiven. And he gave us a parable of a story of a man whose servant was owing, you know, let me just say $500, for instance. And the man said to his other servants, bind up the man, get his kids and his wife, lock them up until the man was able to pay up. And the man came, fell on, his, on the floor and begged the, the Lord and said, please have mercy on me. Give me a little time and I will pay. And then the, the, the master forgave him. And this same guy went out, 
met a fellow servant who was owing him 50 cents and he held him held him so much you know that the guy could not do anything for himself and he pleaded with him and said please give me time i will pay this other person who had been forgiven an offense went and threw the other fellow into prison until he paid him his 50 cents and when the lord who forgave him 500 dollars heard of it he was so wrought and he arrested him and bounded him and threw him in prison and the lord said that there shall be gnash wailing and gnashing of teeth so if these people are are thinking and standing on the same pedestal that jesus stood is standing and will forever stand now what then chose that we are going to heaven now because i think that the 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 truth was that even if he was responsible or he was not responsible now with what he has done people you know have, have already started talking that these people are very very dangerous so before you speak against them you must be well rooted you must be ready and so somebody commented and said that he is minding his own business he's not ready to talk about them he's not ready to talk and speak against them which means that he is already being indicted that he is responsible for whatever has happened to the girl now listen moses was so much offended by the people he led moses was in fact because of the people moses even sinned against god these people murmured against moses they spoke evil against him even while moses was burning his life for them a time came when god said to moses give way let me destroy these people and through you i will raise a, another nation and we all know that god could do that you know in no time at all was he not the one that created adam and eve and they cre he created them and they became adults so if god wanted to create one million people to raise a nation from moses in within the space of 10 years the lord was able to do it and do it perfectly well he could have done it but the bible said that moses fell on his faces not minding what these people had done to him not minding the temptations and the trials and the persecutions that he had gotten from them he laid down on his face and could not eat until he was able to persuade God that God should forgive. Let's say that God was fighting for Dumeje. That God was the one that, okay, came down and said, because you spoke against my servant, now I'm going to deal with you. Now, was it not an opportunity for him to plead on behalf of the girl? Because God will, will answer, God will have mercy. But rather they told her that she was going to die in the sickness. Meanwhile, your guess might be as good as mine i will want you to uh tell me what you think i've not said anything i've not said that the major was responsible i've not said he's not responsible but his action leaves a, a sour taste in the mouth rather his action leaves a very staunching sour taste in the mouth i will want to read your comments what do you think about this i'll be seeing you in the next video Till then, I want to ask you to subscribe to the channel, share the video, like it. Until I come your way again in the next video, I remain your brother in the Lord. And I want to say to you, Shalom.